And another story we're following tonight, shock and anger at a Sacramento high school after racist graffiti is found on campus tonight. The school district vowing to hold whoever did it responsible. KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo joins us live now from McClatchy High School tonight with reaction from students and the district. Melanie. That racist graffiti was removed immediately once it was discovered by school staff. But the fact that it was up there in the first place is disturbing to the entire school community. A photo circulating widely on social media shows the racist graffiti that appeared above a water fountain at McClatchy High School. It's like 1950s in 2022. Two sides of the fountain, one with the word colored over it, the other with the word white over it. It was very hateful, very insensitive and very racist. Community advocate Barry Axia is telling KCRA3 there are also social media images being shared of teenagers drinking from the fountains. These young people, whoever was involved and they're on social media taking pictures, thinking that it's funny, they need to be held accountable. It's just like, I just think it's really disrespectful. McClatchy students describing their reaction to seeing images of the racist graffiti on their school campus. I'm just speechless about it because especially during Black History Month since it's new because um, it definitely hasn't been there since before that. That was just like shocking like I it's crazy that people are still like thinking that's okay. I came from a different country. I don't like the racism either because it's hurtful you know. In a statement about the racist graffiti discovery posted to the Sacramento City Unified School District website, Superintendent Jorge Aguilar said, I am both angry and heartsick that racist graffiti was discovered on the CK McClatchy campus today. We take this incident very seriously. Racism and racist language will not be tolerated in our schools. The statement going on to say, our district is committed to confronting racial prejudice. This offensive incident serves as another reminder that we need to have a reckoning on race at all levels in SCUSD and beyond. Students and advocates interested in learning more about how the district will hold the people responsible for that racist graffiti accountable. And I'm going to sit there and say, what are you guys going to do about it? When are we going to have stricter policies that protect black children in these schools? The district says it's concerned for the students and the staff affected after seeing that racist graffiti and plans to provide all necessary support services for those experiencing trauma after seeing it. Meanwhile, the district says it has also consulted with the Sacramento Police Department for help with the investigation into this graffiti incident. Reporting from Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.